It is my great honor to be here as a consul general of Japan in Mumbai. And on behalf of the government of Japan, I'd like to extend my heartfelt congratulations to、uh, Mr. Fatanabe for receiving this wonderful honorary degree. I think that you don't understand how important, how significant this degree giving from Koyosan University to somebody in India. Because, yes, for the first time in 120 years is great enough. But Koyosan University's history actually goes back to 1200 years. 1200 long years. As a modern system, Koyasa University was established 120 years ago, but、uh, the inception as an educational system, it started in 816, early 9th century. So, Koyasa University is one of the most prestigious university education system in Japan. And During the, not just 120 years, 1200 years, this is the first honorary doctorate degree given from the university to this wonderful gentleman in India. So, please understand that the Koyasan University is something really, really special. Koyasan University may not be known to、uh, Indian people, but、uh, in Japan, As the birthplace of Buddhism, it is very important.、Um, Kukai established this university in 9th century. And Kukai is the, like Adi Shankara in India. Like Adi Shankara promoted the Hinduism to a higher plane、uh, from the original、uh, religion. Like Kukai, Kukai also, Buddhism was introduced from India to Japan in the middle of, uh, fifth, uh, sixth century. But 200 years after, Kukai elevated Buddhism into the national religion. And then Koyasan was the center. That's,、uh, the Japanese people consider Koyasan, Kukai, Koyasan University is important. So I'm saying this, this is a really, really, really special event for Japanese and for Indian national, all of you. And,、uh, when I first heard that Koyasan University is giving an honorary degree for the first time, for the first time in its history, I was surprised that university is giving a degree But then I heard that it is going to be given to,、uh, Mr. No other than Mr. Farnamis. Then I understood.、Uh, he went to Japan this year as the official guest of the government of Japan. And he energetically conducted his visit. He met many dignitaries in Japan. And particularly he con、uh, conducted many business meetings. He met many, many, many business leaders. Then convinced Maharashtra is the best place for investment from Japan to India. And based on his such activities, now the Japanese company considers, consider many Japanese companies consider that the, in, in,、uh, Maharashtra is the best investment target in India. <laughs> Thanks to his achievement. So,、uh, he, he was an excellent leader. He's an excellent leader for Maharashtra for business. But not just as a business leader and a statesman, sta、uh, politicians, but he's a wonderful human being. During the process of、uh, organizing this,、uh, his visit to Japan, I had occasion to see him many times and then discussed about his visit. And then I was so impressed by his,、uh, human quality. <laughs> he's really a wonderful human being. And that is why, you know,、uh, this、uh, doctorate degree from Koyosan University is not for, you know, scientific achievements, 
but uh, this is uh, given only for the ground of human humanity. So Koyasa University uh, recognized him as the most distinguished human being in India, installing peace and prosperity in, in, in India, particularly in Maharashtra. For that, once again, on behalf of government of Japan, and as a person, I myself, extend my heartfelt congratulations to Mr. Fadnavis. Thank you very much.